Hello friends, welcome to our channel Weldgo. So today we are going to learn about weldability, commonly weldable base metals, then testing methods used to check weldability and after that we will learn about factors affecting weldability. So we will start with definition of welding. So ability of metal to get welded is called as weldability. Weldability encompasses metallurgical compatibility means fusion ability of parent and base metal. Then the weld metal's ability to get welded with mechanical soundness and after that service ability of resultant weld joint is very important. So commonly weldable base metals are in ferrous metals, stainless steel, carbon steels, alloy steels, cast iron, cast steels, high strength low alloy steel and then high strength steels. The non-ferrous metals that can be welded are aluminium and its alloys, magnesium and its alloys, copper and its alloys, zinc and its alloys and nickel and its alloys. Now we will see about testing methods of weldability. So testing methods to check weldability are theoretical tests, simulated tests and actual weld tests. More oftenly we use actual weld tests. So an under actual weld test these are two methods first is fabrication weldability test it determines susceptibility of weld metal to the cracks so fabrication weldability tests are hot crack test wood crack test and induced hydrogen test then service weldability test measures mechanical properties of weld which are considered essential for performance of weld joint during service so these tests include tensile test, harness and bend test, impact test, fatigue test, corrosion test and creep test. So friends these are the factors affecting weldability. First one is thermal conductivity. If the thermal conductivity of material is too high it takes longer period of time to raise the temperature to the melting point because when heat is supplied to the workplace it gets dissipated quickly to the surrounding so it takes longer period of time to reach the melting point. So that is the reason copper and aluminium are difficult to weld. So higher the thermal conductivity difficult the material to weld. The next factor affecting weldability is melting point. When melting point of a material is too high again it takes longer period of time to raise the temperature to the melting point. So the material with higher melting point is difficult to weld. Next factor that affects weldability is electrical resistance. Metals having high electrical resistance is difficult to weld because very high heat is required to weld this kind of materials. Next factor affecting weldability is reactivity. If metals reactivity with water, air and surrounding is very high, it difficult to weld. For example, aluminium. Aluminium is very reactive material. So when it exposed to atmosphere, it creates a film of Al2A3. Al2A3 means aluminum oxide. It is ceramic material and it requires more heat to melt because melting point of Al2O3 is three times higher than the aluminum. So it is difficult to weld. Next factor is surface condition. If the surface condition of material is dirty, greasy, then it becomes difficult to weld. So surface condition is very important. The weld surface should be clean every time. Next factor is coefficient of thermal expansion. It is ability of material to expand after heating. Higher the coefficient of thermal expansion, it is difficult to weld. So last but not least percent of carbon. Higher the percentage of carbon in iron makes it difficult to weld. So friends, today we learned about weldability testing methods of weldability and factors affecting weldability. Hope you learned something new today and if you like the video then please don't forget to share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.